Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at an experiment called the flying tea bag. You'll need a tea bag. The tea bags you want are not a little square one like these, but the ones that are more like folded into an envelope with the tea leaves inside and a little seal on top. What I'd do is I'd take the tea out of there first and I'd put it in a teapot and so we can have that later on. Now we've got that tea bag all empty and this is called recycling because we're going to use the tea bag for a science experiment. Now we've got a lovely cylinder here with a very, very fine paper. What we'll do is we'll light it and kids, you might want to get a grown up to do this part. We'll light it up from the top and watch what's going to happen. I want you thinking, hey, what's going on here? It's quite cool watching fire though too, eh? You've got to be very careful though. Watch how it's going up. The flames are going up like this, and all the things burning up. And as it does, oh, it lifts up into the air. Wow, like that. <laughs> Great stuff. Now I'm going to try another one, and this time I'll explain what's going on. The first, oh look how fine that is there. <laughs> the first thing that we've got is with our cylinder. When we light, light the cylinder, we're going to be getting the air inside getting warmer than the air on the outside. And if you remember what we were talking about with density, the warmer it is, the less dense it is. Okay, so it's sort of blown in and the air around the outside is a bit cooler and it gets a bit closer together. So when we're doing that and we light it and we're heating up that air inside, the air on the outside then gets a chance where the, where the gaps are from the warm air to actually lift up and as that lifts up that could that causes a convention conviction <laughs> excuse me a convection current and that convection current is where the cold air sort of comes in and pushes along from underneath where the warm air was and the third thing that's going on here and you can see I've got a whole pile of ash blowing around me now well we've got this ash and we've got the smoke that's the third thing that we've got here and we'll try one more hey you know what this time i'm actually going to try two together we've got these going on why not what we do is that's going to be and that goes up into the air the ash is so light well first of all the smoke just goes into our air and i can tell you it's quite smoky around here but the the ash the warm air is just strong enough to lift the ash up. Let's have a look one more time. And we'll light two. Of course, do this with a grown up at home, eh, guys? Yeah, I'm not sure they're having a bit of a race and see which one burns faster. One one goes up, and the other one. Oh. Have fun with that one today. Bye now.